Hey y'all, YouTube. All right, new episode of Red vs. Blue. I'm feeling very Batman-y today. All right, uh, episode, uh, what is this? Episode um, 13, I believe? The Thin Fed Line. All right, uh, the tr I didn't do a reaction to the trailer, I think, for this. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, and yeah, let's begin. Eight minutes, 20 seconds. All right, should be good. All right, they've just been defeated. Well done, Donut. And at no point during any of this did you realize I was missing. Never seemed important to me. Apparently not. I will destroy you all. Ah, oh, no, no, Mally. It's really the most vocal split personality I've ever seen, but I suppose an eternity in isolation will do that to you. Tell me, Mr. O'Malley, when you say you wish to destroy us all, what exactly do you think you mean by that? I mean you will cease to exist. Yeah, for someone with a 220 IQ. Or 240? I don't know. Well, I think there's some serious issues here we're just starting to get a hold of. Nothing a little electroshock therapy could fix. Ah, I beg your pardon. After you, handsome. No. Oh. Oh. We we're gonna fix you right up, Doc. Where should I stick the thermometer? Uh, I think I need to get a second opinion. We got a winner! Is that Carolina? Finally, some freaking Church quiet. is alive. You want to see if she lifts her prescription pad? We need to talk. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Can we at least do it while you're on heavy sedatives? <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. First, we start with a friendly handshake. Devil man, did you just spit inside your helmet? Take yourself. And fuck yourself. Seriously? With yourself. Damn it, Palomo! Exactly. God damn it, Palomo. Well, step up from assault and battery. He provokes me. Your rebels are all fucking nuts. That's impossible. <laughs> Let's don't have orbits. Go back to school. What about donuts? They're just speaking in riddles and you know it. I'm having a hard time following this conversation. Me uh, too. Forget it. You guys can go. Fine. Damn it, Palomo. How did you? You were a constant source of disappointment. Alright. <laughs> hey, I thought I was a constant source of disappointment. Well, I will just have to try harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm harder. No, what's happening now? We're in the middle of a fucking war and these guys won't do anything but hate on each other. The problem isn't with them. It's just with your approach. What the heck is that supposed to mean? You can't force people into liking each other. You just gotta lie to them until they think they like each other. That sounds like a terrible idea. That's not idea. a bad idea no, when you think sorry. about it. I've used the same tactic on women a million times. <laughs> this is basic shit. First, we tell Doyle that Kimball wants to apologize and meet him for dinner. Then, we tell Kimball that Doyle wants to apologize and we invite her to the same restaurant. Oh, come on. I can already see how bad this is gonna go. And one of those sitcoms was called Friends. Oh! Hey, Joel Clark. Heyman was an extra on Friends. Hey, John, cut out for this kind of job. What we need is someone with a more delicate touch. Someone that can act as a neutral force. Someone that's neither red nor blue. But some sort of disgusting middle ground. Like a hmm. dark fuchsia. You'll never take me alive! I ran track in high school! Running only makes me did run track in high school. If only we knew someone that would just stop. Fair enough. All right, important bit. What happened to you? You were with me one minute, then the next you were gone. All right, I know what you're trying to talk about here. Look, sometimes guys my age have performance issues. That's completely natural. Epsilon, I'm serious. Hey, me too. This shit's embarrassing. And now I gotta go talk to Dr. Gray about getting some pills. Stop dodging me on this. That's fair. <sighs> Look, I'm not failing if that's what you're worked up about. Okay. But... I have my limits. What do you mean? I mean, you can't expect me to run all of your armor equipment at the drop of a hat. I'm not a young, brand new AI. Hmm. I'm just one of the fragments. He's not Look, powerful enough. I'm sorry if I pushed you too far. But we can't use that as an excuse. We're going to need every advantage we can get. Oh, you're right. Would you like some holographic projections, too? How about a time distortion while you fight? Or, oh, we can get you seat warmer. How about that? You know what we're up against. And you know what happened to the meta. What did you just he say? He went there. He kept fighting for more and more power, too. And in the end, it got him killed. Don't you ever talk about Maine like you knew him. I'm just trying to show you how close you're getting to crossing a very dangerous line. Oh, wow. You're Agent Carolina. You don't need all this fancy 
tricky stuff to win. You're already the best. Oh, well. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, Church. I really do. That's Good, because I am really not all about the sincerity stuff. But the only reason we survived the Radio Jammer is because Locus is insane. He mm. could have killed Wash. And they both could have done a lot more. But they didn't. So what does that have to do with anything anyway? I told you when I went through the gateway that I saw the freelancers. Oh. I had to watch them die. Oh. Um, That's what you saw. they were gone, I saw all of you. Oh. Wash, Tucker, the Red. Oh. And Church. Sure. I can't lose another family. Oh, wow. I'm scared. Uh, forgive me, but I'm all too familiar with the feeling. What are you doing here? <sighs> it's my favorite part of the capital. Just mm -hmm. far enough away from everything. I come here whenever I need a moment. It looks as though you had a similar idea. Shouldn't you be in the center of town? Behind 78 inches of bulletproof everything? Oh, there's all sorts of things we should be doing. We should be prepping our next move against the enemy. But instead, we're here. Hmm. Standing around talking. Yeah. You get used to it. That's what we all do. do. You know, I believe it was the great William Shakespeare who said, Courage is not the absence of fear. It is acting in spite of it. Hmm. I don't believe those words have ever been more relevant. I don't think that was Shakespeare. What? Ooh. That quote. I don't think he said that. Really? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, yeah. And who said it? Oh. Still. It's a good quote. Thank you. Mm. You know, here's to hoping the perps are just as frustrated as the rest of us. I am extremely frustrated. He can't get it up. How? How do you forget to mention something as important as that. We were in a hurry. Oh, you were in you a were hurry. In a hurry. Hey, Locus, you know, I was really thinking about letting Sharkface live, but since we're in a hurry, why don't we just fucking kill him? I'd like to see you try. Oh. You no know, violence between partners. He's not a partner. He's an idiot. And thanks to him, we've got a key <laughs> that does nothing until the general is dead. Then we kill the general. The grown-ups are talking fish steak. Quiet. Oh. We have the advantage. We have a plan. So quit moaning. Ooh. You're the boss. I'll sick up at the Tartarus. You need to get your head together. <laughs> Said the raving lunatic. Ooh. Something's going on with Locus. Locus. Hmm. The Tartarus is maintaining orbit around the planet as discussed. Good. Shall I inform Carmichael that you wish to speak with him? Carmichael. Be necessary. <coughs> I'd like to ask you. How can I be of assistance? I want to know more about the meta. Oh! He's gonna try and become the meta? I don't know. Logos is playing a very dangerous game. Okay, yeah, that, uh... uh when Church mentioned the meta to Carolina, ooh, that, ooh. That kinda hit me, actually. Hmm. Because, you know, Carolina knew Agent Maine, obviously. Um, and... He's dead. So that's what Carolina saw. She saw everyone dead in front of her. Not that she wasn't good enough or anything, but just everyone dead. Well, it's kind of... Well, yeah, it's sad when you think about it. Tragic, really. That's what kind of makes her a unique character. Um, going forth. Uh, but... I uh, don't know what else to say. I thought it was a good episode. Um, shit's really starting to heat up, so we'll have to, uh, hmm, we'll, uh, have to see how this goes. I really don't know where this is gonna go. I do like seeing the sort of scuffle between, um, oh, little Max is up. I do like seeing the scuffle between the villains, really. Uh, that's neat. Uh, now they have to kill Doyle. That's gonna be interesting if they do kill Doyle. If they do kill Doyle, though, that means we have to have a sword fight between Tucker and Felix. We have to have that. Um, so we'll see how this goes. So, yeah. <clears throat> so Church can't run all of Carolina's equipment at once because that just puts too much strain on him. He's not powerful enough. 
If he was alpha, then yeah, he would definitely be powerful enough. But we'll see how this goes. Uh, I do like uh, they're trying to get the two sides to talk with one another. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, we'll just have, uh, yeah, maybe that's how it'll kind of end, I suppose, with the two sides actually deciding to work with one another. Uh, well, uh, that's all I have to say. So what do you guys think of the new episode? I think it's great. The thin fed line. Uh, yeah, uh, now i got to wait a week for the next episode. <laughs> all right, <laughs> see you guys later.